Hey everybody and welcome back to MTG Killer Bees. If you hadn't heard, Dominaria is now out of print. It's gone. So we thought we'd give it a send off by opening a box and making one less box in the world. <laughs> so let's get started. Can we get some Teferis, some Karns? I don't even remember what else is in here that's worth any money. Mox Amber probably is worth a little bit. <clears throat> Ooh. Look at all those fancy packs. And remember, these are the packs that have a legendary creature in every pack. Sometimes they'll earn common, sometimes they'll take the spot of the rare slot. Oh, there's a lot of new stuff in here, if I remember right. There was uh, the sagas and the legendary sorceries. Oh. Oath of Teferi. Ooh. <clears throat> and then our legendary creature. Cinderwind. I forgot they put another oath in here. I can... There we go. Let's you activate Planeswalkers twice a turn, which is pretty awesome. No. <clears throat> Especially with upcoming War of the Spark, I wonder if that's gonna. I wonder if that card's gonna go up because of that. Naban, Dean of Iteration. Nah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Good if you're doing Wizard Tribal, I guess. Actually had a lot of uh, wizard theme stuff in here, like Maybe. Wizard's Retort. If you have a wizard, it's just a basic counter spell. Woodland Cemetery. Hmm. Okay. That's not bad. The land cycle was good in this one. Uh, Raph Capuchin, Ship's Mage. <clears throat> or legendary there. Hmm. So the the land cycle in this goes really well with the shock lands that just got reprinted. Because those count as whatever the basic land types. So you can play these and get untapped. Hey. Giant <clears throat> Emblem. And Yagmas Vile Offering. Hmm. Rare. Okay. Baird, Steward of Argiv. <clears throat> Legendary. He's actually pretty good. File Offering is one of the legendary sorceries. Can't cast it unless you have a legendary creature or planeswalker on the field. <clears throat> Siege Gang Commander. This is the rare. Okay, so more Goblin Tribal. This is a set. Is this the set that has Goblin Chain Whirler in it? I think it is. I, yeah. I'm... It was the Scourge of Standard for a long time. Magic of Gen Con, right? Yes. It's like the biggest thing they do there. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was just board games or also card games. Hey. Memorial to Genius. One of my own personal favorites. Glory and Kamal's Druidic Vow. Just two of the memorials were in the same pack? Yeah, right in a row. And slime foot the stowaway. <clears throat> this set seemed like it was paving the way for the next set, which is going to have a planeswalker in every pack. Yeah, I don't. I'm kind of worried feel about, that. about that. A precog field. Is the rare? Yeah. Sapling tokens and. Tasuko Umizawa, Fugitive. Hmm. Our legendary there. Yeah, let us know how you feel about Planeswalker in every pack. I'm wondering... I'm assuming that means some of the Planeswalkers are going to be uncommon, and thus complete crap. Like, there's got to be just a ton of unplayable Planeswalkers. Traxos. Hmm. Yeah, he's alright. I like him. He's good in Commander. 
You can build a commander deck around him pretty I like easily. I like trample, though, so... <clears throat> One of those. We need a Teferi or a Karn. Come Urza's on. Ruinous Blast. <laughs> Got another of the legendary sorceries. Okay, so that's three of the legendary sorceries. Yargo yeah. Glutton of Urborg, who is a 9-3 legendary frog spirit. Yeah, that thing's a piece of junk. It's 9-3 with no abilities for yeah, five. Yeah, it's for five. What the? Dumb. They just needed a slot to fill a legendary with, I think is the case there. Sylvan Awakening. Okay. Hmm, that's actually good. <clears throat> mm, okay. Uh, Valduk, Keeper of the Flame. You're not doing great. No, yep. well, I don't even know. I mean, some of these could be worth something. And I uh, haven't kept up with the prices on Dominaria recently. That's true. We've had the Fox City for quite a while. We just never got around to it. We got Memorial to Folly. That's three of those lands. Hey, Foiled Divination. Alright. And Torgar, Famine Incarnate. He's actually good if you can cast him. Oh. I decimated a commander game with him the other day. Construct Token. Voice of Plenty. She's pretty good, too. She gives off. Uh, you, Planeswalkers, and other creatures you control have Hexproof. That's pretty darn good. And... Alright, Garna the Blood Flame. So... Memorial to Unity. Memorial to War. There's all five. Yeah, that's... Oh, good. Ooh. Hey. The Lotus. There, there we, we go. go. I don't think it's worth that much, but I still like it. Yeah, it's one of our favorites. Look at this. The artwork is really good, especially on this one. I like this one a lot for some reason. And we have Rona, Disciple of Gix, and I think she has a robot eye. I can't quite tell. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if she's a Disciple of Gix, that would mean she's... On the Phyrexian side. Mm, okay, so, that makes more sense. In theory, she's replacing as many body parts as possible with machines. Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. Okay, there's another of the legendary sorceries. Let's return all legendary permanents from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah. Whoops, so, and we have a Urgaros the Empty One. Hmm. And a... Bonus foil and common Adelaide's the Cinderwind. Okay. That might actually be worth something in foil. Ooh. Okay, you see manipulators back. Which is mastery. mastery. <clears throat> Wonder if they were trying to capture the flavor of the original card that's just called Lich. Shauna Sisei's Legacy. She's pretty good. We should probably do the Uncommons this time as well. Mm. No? No. Alright, fine. I, I don't think there's any Uncommons that are worth a ton in this. Maybe the do the foil one, but... <clears throat> Shar, Ancestor's Apostle. Hmm, I don't even remember that one. Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target creature card with converted mana costs three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Hmm, okay. Hey, our first mythic. Dargaz reincarnated? Hmm, okay. One of the legendary dragons. 7-7 seven, seven, flying trample haste. If it would die, instead exiled. Three egg counters. Begin of your upkeep. Remove an egg counter on it. 
Then, if it has no eight counters, return it to the battlefield. So, it basically, unless they uh, exile it, it can't die. Keeper of the Flame, most legendary. Oh, by the way, did you see the new uh, Endgame posters came out? No. No, we don't have to look at them. <laughs> Damping Sphere, <laughs> the Antitron card. Territorial Allosaurus is our wearer. We could actually scan these. I'm interested to see if the Damping Spheres are worth anything. I, I was kind of wondering about that. Uh, Foil Knight of the Benalia, common. Uh, Tot Yova, Benthic Druid. Hmm. Helm of the Host is really good. Let's you copy stuff, and the copies are not legendary. And Quinde Pride of something. <laughs> the problem with putting a legendary in every pack is you have a bunch of them that are trash. Yeah. Which is the reason I'm afraid of Planeswalkers in every pack. So I think that means there's going to be a ton... There's 36 they, Planeswalkers in the next are set. Are they reprinting or are they all new? Is no idea. Even said? Okay. I, I would have my doubts whether they reprint them. I mean, there's, I'm sure there'll be a Jace. Well, and, and a Chandra. And a Vraska and a Bolas, but I'm betting they'll do new ones. I would be surprised if they do reprints of yeah, Famous. Yeah, Stronghold. That's, that's actually really good. Yeah, that's not a bad one. <clears throat> that's... Almost as good as Cabal Coffers. <laughs> Slinvoda is our legendary there. Yeah, another trash one. Eight for eight, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Eight, eight for eight with another kicking cost. That's mediocre. Another Demon Lord Belzenlock, our second mythic. Okay. Hmm. That's not boding well for, uh, to fairy then. <laughs> in theory, we should get at least one more mythic yeah, in here. Yeah. Come on, to fairy or Karn. Uh, not in this pack. Joda, Archmage Eternal. Uh, he's a really good commander. I use him in a commander deck, and he lets you cast big nasty stuff for only five mana. When you have a bunch of stuff with CMCs of like 8, 9, 10, God. you can cast it for 5. He's ridiculous. The Mending of Dominaria. That's really good. Especially in a Lands Matter deck. Yeah, really good with Lord, Lord Windgrace. Yeah. We have a <clears throat> Seismic Shift foil there. And Arvard, Arvad the Cursed. Hmm. <laughs> what are you more excited for? Endgame or Game of Thrones? Uh, Endgame. I really don't give a crap about Game of Thrones. I just want to see the ending because I'm sick of it now. Another memorial. Black Blade Reforged. Meh. It's okay. Again, oh, if you're God. building a legendary deck. Yeah, great. Where the hell are you actually <laughs> at? The Teferi Emblem. Baird, Steward of Argiv. Yeah, I kind of lost hope in Game of Thrones after they ran out of book content because it then became clear that the writers were hacks. They are fantastic at adapting. They are not good at writing, so I will give them that. that you're holding that against your chest like there's something good in there. Hey, there he is. Karn, Scion of Urza. That crappy slime foot. So nice. Karn. Look at him, he's so cool. I'm pretty sure we pulled the Karn out of, uh, was it one of these boxes, or what What else was he in that we pulled him from? 
No, it was one of these. What, was it Dominari? Yeah. One of our first videos, I think? Yeah. I mean, the only other Karn that's ever been... Well, there's been two was other Karns printed, but we didn't... Yeah, he was the last one he was in would have been Ultimate, and okay. it's not this Karn. It's the better Karn. Foiled Frenzied Rage. And a Kazarov Sengir Pureblood. And they keep wanting to do the Sengirs, and they're never that great. Yeah, I'm... They're, all, they're always trying to recapture the myth of the Sengir Vampire, and yeah, they're never good. I'm really kind of sad about Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. Although I'm still more irritated with the Dark Tower movie. Uh, uh, Josu Vess. Okay. The Lich Knight. He's really good if you can pay the kicker. And you get... Uh, was it eight? Yeah, eight two two black zombies into play along with him. And Halar, the fire catcher. Right now on TV, I'm most excited about Good Omens on Amazon. That does look pretty good. Hopefully that that's awesome. I love Terry Pratchett though. He was amazing. Uh, Amazon and is doing yet another uh, Philip K. Dick adaptation. Yeah, I heard Electric that. Dreams, I think, is that one. I think it's an anthology series. Is it? Okay. They must have like exclusive rights for Philip K. Dick stuff because they've done a uh, Man in the High Castle was him, and I want to say there's not something else too. And Night of One Grace, lame. This camera does not want to autofocus today. <clears throat> Uh, there's a new Watchmen series coming out. Who cares? <laughs> you like the movie so much. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> that does That means I don't need to see a series. It's like the Lord of the Rings movies. Like, I'm glad they're going with the time frame before the movies because yeah, if they were just be remaking the Lord of the Rings, it. why would I need to see that? I've seen the perfect version already. Jaya's immortal. Immolating Inferno. Okay, another of the sorceries. Is that four? Five, I think. We Is got one five? of the... There must be more than five because we got a black-white one. Mm. So we've got four of the single-color ones. So we've gotten the red, the green, the white, and the black, and we got a black-white one. I don't know how many there are in total. Okay. Vergant Force. Hmm. I was actually... When they announced this was going to be in the set, I was really excited because it's one of the cards I played with back in the day, old school. <laughs> it's not really that good anymore, no, but yeah. it was fun. Another one of those. And a foil nature spiral in common. Mm. Not bad, actually. Okay. Yeah, I like the Let's foiling see. on the little spirals in there. Hey, hey, hey. You want to take a guess? Teferi. Uh, Teferi. No. <laughs> Come on. Hey, Mox Amber. All right, and I'll take a Mox Amber. I like the Moxen. Even though... Crappy Voda, who cares? This is clearly the black sheep of the Moxen. St it's still a Mox. I wonder... I would be interested if they printed... <laughs> the regular one. Hmm. If they did like a special set where they reprinted all of the Moxen. Hey. Follow the Thran is good. So if they did like a from, from the Vault, I mean, answer this in the comments if you think you can. If they did a From the Vault Moxen where they printed all of them, which one do you think would be worth the most? Mm. I know people would lean towards the originals, but I think it would be the Diamond. Because that one is super good. Red shade. There we go. Another one of those. And we're down to three packs. Come on. One more mythic. I know we've gotten what, three we've now? We've got three, so that might be it. <clears throat> Odds are low. Yeah, they're very low. Uh, let's see. Stupid to parry, why are you so rare? Two headed giant. Mm. 
I think Richard Garfield put it in there because he f thought it was funny. <laughs> Probably. A foil Lenore Scout. Hmm. Okay. Another Arvad Karst. Second to last. Stop holding us in suspense. Soothsayer, which just makes me think of Dune, which is also coming out soon. And Evra. She's good. Not your favorite. Why does Soothsayer make you think of Dune? Are there any Soothsayers in Dune? I don't think so. I, I believe in the later books there are. Otherwise, I Yeah, the later books are shit. Everything after God Emperor is trash. Come uh, on. No, I'm not agreeing with that. Come on. No, I'm not agreeing. When Brian Herbert started getting into writing. They're not nearly as good as doing. Or even, you know, to God ever. But they had some interesting things in them. Clifftop Retreat. All right. Closing out with one more of the land cycle. Groon, or Grun. The, la the Lonely King. And our first foil rare. Ooh. Urza's Urza All right. Blast. That was... Foil, nice pack, foil ruin, ruinous blast. All right, we're going to pause it and see what we got. All right, so we've scanned up, and here are the cards that were worth mentioning. The rest is bulk. Um, the Urza's Ruinous Blast, surprisingly, in foil, was worth a couple bucks. The non-foil was like 30 cents or something. Um, pretty much everything else in the middle here was around two to three. And then the big boys at the top, Mox Amber was 15, and what was Karn? Uh, I don't remember. Like 20? He was almost 20. I want to say he was like 18 or something. So, of course, Karn is, I think, the second most expensive in the set behind Teferi. I could be wrong on that, but yeah, I'm gonna obviously guess. Karn is always going to be a chase card. Every time they print a new Karn, it's going to be good, which... In the next set, I'm betting we won't see a Karn, which will be disappointed, disappointing. But Yeah, especially. They've got 36 spots mm -hmm. to fill. All right. That wraps up this Dominaria box. And, of course, Dominaria is out of print. So, Godspeed, Dominaria. <laughs> Goodbye, Dominaria. And if you can hear that in the background, it's the cat. And, anyway, <laughs> say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee. Those are some killer bees.